Bellator 246, live on Paramount Network from the Mohegan Sun Arena. We started the evening with a lightweight confrontation between Derek Campos and Keone Diggs. Keone Diggs came into this fight looking at Derek Campos as a stepping stone, and he put on a beautiful performance. Technical striking, beautiful groundwork, taking Derek into deep waters all the way into the third round, but never, ever stopping going for that finish. And in the end, right at 459, he gets the rear naked choke for a technical submission. Great job done by Keone Diggs. Then, Liz Carmouche making her Bellator debut against Vitamin D, Deanna Bennett. Liz Carmouche coming into Bellator, putting on a big start with that nice lift of Deanna, bringing her down to the ground, opening up the first round with some nice strikes, good kicks, but in the second round, Deanna Bennett started to get a little bit better, and in the third round, it was this moment right here, rear naked choke. Liz Carmouche gets her first victory in the Bellator cage. Well done by Liz Carmouche. Then our co-main event of the evening, John Fitch and a healed Naaman Gracie. Healed with a hand injury, breaking his hand in training. You're going with John Fitch, you know there's gonna be a grind, but boy did Neiman Gracie show. He is not only a jiu-jitsu practitioner, he has got great wrestling. He took John down multiple times in the fight and then got to a position in the fight where he was on top doing damage, got the leg lock, actually did a two-type submission. Heel hook with a knee bar at the same time. That is what world-class fighters do. Naaman Gracie with the win, John Fitch retires at 42 years old. We thank him for everything he has done for this sport. Then our main event of the evening, a five round battle for the Bantamweight World Championship. What a contrast of styles. Juan Archuleta coming in with 24 and two record. A lot of experience and experience against great fighters. Patchy Mix being the young stud who goes after the submissions at all times. He got Archuleta's back, he got that figure four. He did beautiful work in the first and second rounds, but it was those body shots. The body shots that Archuleta started ripping on Patchy Mix, they started to make a difference. Shots inside, outside, he never stopped. The footwork, and in the end, Juan Archuleta becomes the Bellator Bantamweight champion with a unanimous decision victory. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com. That's right, Bellator MMA has officially joined the CBS Sports Network family, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Known for its in-depth coverage of college and professional sports, now welcomes Bellator and their stable of world-class fighters. Oh, my God! Bellator MMA proudly debuts on CBS Sports Network, Thursday, October 1st. It's gonna be huge.